Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Timmy Treacle, also known as Horror Fan for Life, and I'm bringing you some more top 10 lists this evening. The first of which is my top 10 Oliver Platt movies. Now, Oliver Platt, uh, I've known him uh, since the first movie I've seen him in uh, was Beethoven, I believe. Uh, since then, he's done a lot of great movies, in a lot of movies, actually. Currently, he stars on one of my favorite shows on Wednesday nights called Chicago Med. And, um, uh, but I think I got it narrowed down to what I think are his top 10 best movies. So, let's get it started. Coming in at number 10 is X-Men First Class. Number 9 is A Time to Kill. Number 8 is Flatliners. Number seven is Love and Other Drugs. Number six is 2012. This movie is uh, about the uh, Mayan calendar running out uh, in December of 2012. They didn't have no dates after uh, a certain date in December of 2012. So they thought everybody was going to die and that was going to be the end of the world. And of course, nothing happened, just like the whole 2000s switch. And um, but this movie, uh, the end of the world is coming. Uh, John Cusack stars. Uh, you have Woody Harrelson, of course, Oliver Platt. You got a great cast in this movie. Danny, uh, uh, Danny Glover plays uh, the president, and uh, basically, the uh, world is. <laughs> Coming to an end, uh, there's a whole bunch of typhoons and weather anomalies and earthquakes and uh, it's just all falling to pieces. But the special effects in this movie is phenomenal. Uh, there are parts of the movie that, uh, after rewatching so many times, don't really make sense to me and do kind of get on my nerves. Uh, one particular scene in this movie is when John Cusack and his kids, his ex-wife, and her new fiance are going to uh, the park to get this map from Woody Harrelson's character. Well, instead of uh, what was it? Uh, just going up there and just getting the map from them, they have to delay everything, make everything so dramatic. Uh, and then when they're on their way back, of course, all those fireballs are, sh are shooting at them. And then when John Cusack uh, and his little girl get out of the uh, vehicle, uh, he, he stands there and looks, you know, gives a pause like anything's going to change. And then he's looking for the map. And then he just, it's, it's a scene that really could have been cut uh, out of the movie, in my opinion, or at least, you know, uh, sharpened it up a little bit. Uh, it was really irritating. And some of the dialogue in that scene uh, was irritating as well. And there are a few parts like that in this movie. But overall, I really love this movie. And uh, Oliver Platt plays a uh, great part in this movie. And, uh, yeah, it's just a fun movie, popcorn movie. Number five is Lake Placid. This has to do about uh, huge crocodiles in this lake. You have Bill Pullman, who is a wildlife uh, officer. You have uh, Oliver Platt, who is an expert when it comes to crocodiles and trapping them. Uh, and you have a great supporting cast. Uh, and it's it's a it's a fun movie. It's not really scary, but I do like the concept. And it's had so many sequels and crossovers. But uh, uh, nonetheless, this this is a fun movie. So yeah, definitely check it out if you haven't seen it. Number four is Pieces of April. Number three is Shut In. That is a psychological thriller movie. Number two, I was just talking about, and that is Beethoven. In Beethoven, it's about a uh, St. Bernard puppy uh, who escapes from two bumbling uh, thieves. 
a one played by Oliver Platt and ends up finding this family, Charles Grodin, uh, who's just, he's really great in this movie. Uh, they decide to take the dog on, even though he's not really happy with it, but it, the dog grows on him and everything becomes part of the family. And uh, uh, he is an air fresher uh, owner, salesman. And uh, <laughs> this movie is really sweet, really fun. I love movies about dogs. But Oliver Platt's character in this movie uh, is exceptional and just really funny. Uh, the scene where he's rubbing his ass up against this um, chain link fence, uh, teasing these dogs, uh, it cracks me up every time. Uh, because on the other side of that fence are more dogs, they're Dobermans, and they just tear the crap out of them. It's really funny, it's a sweet movie. <clears throat> and it did spawn many, many sequels. Um, I did enjoy the second second movie. I, I liked the third movie. Uh, the fourth movie was not really good. And then I haven't seen any others after that. But uh, yeah, Beethoven comes in at number two. And my number one favorite or top ten uh, movie of all our plats is The Three Musketeers. That is my number one. This is a Walt Disney uh, movie. This is the only version of the Three Musketeers that I love. It's got a huge cast. You have uh, Chris O'Donnell, um, who plays D'Artagnan. Then you have Oliver Platt, who plays uh, Porthos. And you have Charlie Sheen and Kiefer Sutherland, who play Aramis and uh, uh, Arthos. And uh, uh, you also have Tim Curry as Colonel Richelieu. And then Milady de Linter, played by the beautiful Rebecca de Mornay. This is a great movie. It's got a great soundtrack, great characters, great acting. Just, I love this movie. It is one of my favorites. And this is my number one Oliver Platt movie. In the comment section below, give me your top 10 Oliver Platt movies. If you don't have a top 10, then just name a few. And as always, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more content if you're new to the channel. And please share these videos with my, with your family and friends. I appreciate each and every one of you for liking and supporting my channel. And don't forget, I also do movie reviews, top tens, rankings, TV show reviews, and trailer uh, reactions. Um, and if there's any movie reviews or top ten or rankings you would like for me to do, let me know in the comment section below as well. And uh, other than that, I thank you for watching and stay tuned for three more top 10 lists.